We have just started here at Ocean Exploration Trust what we're calling our From Shore to the Abyss program. So historically, we've really been focused on the deep sea and we're really excited in partnership with National Geographic to be bringing National Geographic explorers on board Nautilus to focus on uh, more shallow uh, reef ecosystems for the very first time. And so we're really looking to connect from shore to the abyss. This project has been over a year in the making, and I'm actually glad that it's taken so long. And already before we ever embarked on the ship, there were so many twists and turns. We had a great opportunity to work with National Geographic a couple days before boarding, where they facilitated a focus on collaboration, a focus on community, and a focus on resilience. Three things I think we were already building as a team, but it really solidified there in Honolulu before we ever stepped foot on the ship. This is honestly a very um, exciting project. This is the first project that I'm leading outside of the Philippines, working with other explorers as the lead scientist. One of the things that I appreciate about this project is that it's not just looking at it from a science perspective, but because this team is so diverse in the background that it really encapsulates different disciplines and different focal points. Bringing together teams of National Geographic explorers, scientists, conservationists, educators, storytellers, coming together with Ocean Exploration Trust and really sharing in that spirit of exploration, looking to understand no more about the ocean environment, but uh, just as importantly, sharing what we learn with, uh, with the rest of the world. So we're here in the main Hawaiian Islands launching three expeditions over five weeks to launch five different shallow water exploration projects. The five projects we're launching broadly include studying sharks, maritime heritage, acoustic soundscapes and marine mammals, microplastic pollution, and a project that spans all of these projects, including indigenous data sovereignty. It's very important that we think about the ocean as one ocean. You know, water moves regardless of any boundaries that we might place on it. And so I think it's very important that we are able to connect what's happening in the shallow waters, whether that's climate change uh, related impacts, uh, to what we're observing in, in the deep sea. So really uh, having a full understanding of the really important life support system for the entire planet. These expeditions are gonna be very different than our normal ones. Typically uh, on board Nautilus, we have our remotely operated vehicles that we're sending to depths of 4,000 meters. This time we're gonna be focused on much more shallow efforts. So we're gonna be uh, working alongside some dive boats. Uh, so we're gonna be doing a lot of scuba diving. Uh, we'll also be doing a lot of deployments from our Zodiac. So focusing on the shallow takes very different technology. So that's gonna be, be the biggest change for us. I think working alongside the scientists, the educators, the storytellers, and seeing exploration and explorers in action and participating in that process is gonna be an amazing experience. I just, I'm just so excited to think about where we go from here. You know, we had Keolu Fox, we're gonna have Grace Young on board the ship. We're also bringing this global community together to sort of get each other all hyped up and sparked and curious and thinking in totally new directions. And I think it's gonna be really important that we find ways to harness that, that we do in fact serve the community here in Hawaii and wherever Nautilus goes, and that we find ways to stay connected to what the ship's doing, to what the team's doing, and what all the explorers who have been on board the ship are doing, because there's a really special potential there. And I'm, I'm most excited to see where this goes and where we go with Nautilus and beyond.